Hello, Mary here, and we're going to do some uh, Chapter 17 homework problems. This is going to be problem number 5 through number 8, um, and all of these have to do with velocity of waves. Excuse me. <clears throat> here we go. A fisherman notices that waves, wave crests pass the bow of his anchored boat every 3 seconds. He measures the distances between two crests to be 6.5 meters. How fast are the waves traveling? So the wave crests pass his boat um, every three seconds. So that's the time for a wave to pass. Time for a wave to pass is period. So the period is three seconds. And the units, use those units, seconds, to help determine if it's period or frequency. The distances between crests is 6.5 meters. Well, that 6.5 meters, that is one wavelength. So one wavelength is 6.5. 5 meters. We want to know how fast are the waves traveling. That is wave velocity, and that is our unknown. Velocity of a wave is frequency times wavelength. We have wavelength. We're looking for velocity. Before we can do this, we have to find frequency. And we know that frequency is equal to 1 divided by the period. And the period is 3 seconds. So if I pick up my calculator, 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.33 repeating. Uh, 1 over seconds and 1 over seconds is a hertz. So this is the frequency of my wave. Now I can plug that in here. Velocity is frequency times wavelength, 0 0.33 repeating hertz times the wavelength of 6.50 meters. And remember, we always try and keep three sig figs if possible. And if I pick up my calculator here, uh, times 6.5 meters, I end up with 2.166 repeating um, hertz meters is going to give me meters per second. But let's deal with, clean some stuff up. Three sig figs, this is going to round off to 2.17. And where do the units come from? Well, a hertz is one per second times a meter. So we end up with meters per second. That's going to be the velocity of this wave. Number six, find the wavelength of the radio station mentioned in question number one. So here is the frequency, the frequency of broadcast is 101.9 megahertz. Mega is times 10 to the sixth. Hertz is the correct unit for frequency. We want to know wavelength. Wavelength is question mark. And it says at the top of the homework assignment for radio waves, light waves, use the velocity of sound, excuse me, velocity of light as 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second for that velocity of light. So velocity is frequency times wavelength. We're going to do a little algebra here. So I'm solving for wavelength. Divide both sides by frequency. Frequency is going to cancel. Wavelength is velocity over frequency. So wavelength will be 3.00, keeping it to those three sig figs, to the eighth meters per second, divided by 101 0.9 times 10 to the 6th hertz. And when I plug those numbers into my calculator, I end up with 2.94 meters. So, and that is a logical number for a FM radio wave. Number 7. The distance between two successive minima of a transverse wave is 2.76 meters. Five crests of the wave pass a given point along the direction of travel every four seconds. Find the frequency of the wave and the wave speed. Okay, now if we say the distance between two successive minima of a transverse wave is 2.76 meters. What do I mean by minima? That's the smallest part. Or another way of saying it, that's the trough. So the distance between troughs is 2.76 meters. So that is my wavelength. So my wavelength is 2.76 meters. Five crests of the wave pass a given point in the direction of travel every 14 seconds. So in a time 
of 14.0 seconds, I have five of these, so times five, that are going to pass this way. What is the frequency of the wave and what is the wave speed? So frequency is going to be number of waves that are going to pass per unit of time. So I'm going to have five waves that pass in 14 seconds. So frequency is number of waves divided by time. Five divided by 14, when I grab my calculator, is 0 0.357 hertz. That's my frequency for part A. And part B says, what is the wave speed? Well, wave speed is frequency times wavelength. Frequency from up here is 0 0.357 hertz. Wavelength from up here is 2.76 meters. When I multiply those together, the velocity is going to be 0 0.986 meters per second. This is meters, meters times hertz. Hertz is a one per second, and I end up with meters per second. Next and last for this group is number eight, and number eight says this. The highest and lowest frequencies that the human ear can hear are 20 to 20,000 hertz. What is the size of the smallest and largest sound wave that a human ear can hear at 20 degrees Celsius? So the first thing we have to do is we are going to have to find the velocity of sound at 27 degrees Celsius. I may have said the wrong number, but it's 27 degrees Celsius right there. So our equation for velocity of sound is the velocity of sound is 331 meters per second, the speed of sound at zero, times the square root of the temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273 to convert it into Kelvin divided by 273. So if I put the numbers in there, 331 times the square root of 27 plus 273 divided by 273. All right, make sure you do the order of operations. You must add, then you divide, then you square root, then you multiply. Order is very important here. You end up with a velocity of 347 meters per second is the velocity of sound on this particular day under those temperature situations. Next, we want to know what is the lowest and highest uh, wavelength, uh, the size of those waves that the human ear can hear. So I want the wavelength at 20 hertz, and I want to find the wavelength at 20,000 hertz. Well, for both of those, we are going to have to use the wave velocity equation. Velocity is frequency times wavelength. Wavelength is going to be a little algebra divide both sides by frequency. So that's going to be, wavelength is velocity over frequency, velocity 347 meters per second divided by 20 hertz, and for the lower one, 347 meters per second divided by 20,000 hertz. And when I pull both of those into my calculator, for the long wavelength, I get 17.4 meters. That is not quite two downs in football. That's pretty long. And for the short one, 0 0.0174 meters. That is going to be my short wavelength. All right, that will do for these. We will see you another day. Bye-bye.